What's going on, guys? CJ here, and I want to talk about um, Pioneer and a little bit of concerns I have, and I want to know about your concerns and how you feel about it because um, a new format being announced, and I don't know how to feel about it. Um, let's start off at the top. Uh, Pioneer is a modern esque format, format, so which means it's it's non rotating, but um, it's only going to start from Return to Ravnica, and it's going to include everything after. So we have Return to Ravnica all the way to currently right now. What we're at is the 2020 and Throne of Eldraine uh, portion of, you know, our magic lives and careers. So coming to this right here, I've realized um, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed, but I'm also kind of interested um to show you where i'm coming from um i stopped playing magic right like right um after a uh, cons attack here i favor when favorite forge came out i wasn't interested in favorite forge but i did come back a little bit for dragon for dragons attack here because i wanted to get some of the um cards i saw some some of the cards and um one of them released a uh, sarkin and i played and um, I played a little bit of standard because there was a Super Friends deck that was going on. I think it was Mardu. So it had red, black, and white. And it was just awesome. It had a demon creature that I loved so much that seemed like super cool. It was a big demon creature. You see standing these, these part of the Mardu deck. It, it, was, it was really cool. I liked it. Um, I got to play it. When Sarkon came, I was so hyped about Sarkon and things like that. And then I left during all of all of this so i left right before magic origins uh battle for zendikar oath gate watch and then i the time i came back we were at we were at um guilds of ravnica because i came i went to that pre-release i was not gonna lose i was not gonna lose out on guilds of ravnica so i came back during guilds of ravnica i saw dominaria a little bit never played in any of these formats but Guilds of Ravnica, and then when uh when the Alliance came, it was really solid. War of the Spark was one of my favorite pre-releases. Besides, um, I remember M12 was just M12 was amazing. I think M12, M11, and M10. Those were pre um my card shop was was booming at that point. But War War of the Sparks and Throne of Eldraine are where we are, you know now, and I just don't believe that we um should only have uh, like a few cards banned um we should have a few more banned <laughs> so the thing about it is that um they've decided to ban you know they've decided to ban all the fetches which is great because marketing as far as us trying to even get the <laughs> the fetch lands bro what <laughs> Fetch lands are hell of expensive, and then adding another format, and then the format quite literally, damn near requiring you to have these lands would just they would skyrocket more, and you'll have to buy boxes and the secondary market and all that stuff. So the the thing about the banning these is that uh, they they didn't want it to be required and the gameplay with these was just kind of you know a little bit hectic and and i i, I personally like the the shuffle i personally like getting um moving things around uh if i scry uh, i know and know it's bad i can fetch it out it gives fetch a little extra meaning to me but um i'm fine with this because they were too expensive i couldn't even get a hold of any currently right now i have zero fetches i uh, in my collection uh, during my Mardu, I had two, but I think my Mardu was um stolen during a, a card or when I went to a card shop. So, yeah, feels bad, man. Can I get a rip in the chat for Mardu? Rip my Mardu deck. Anyway, so now that we actually um have a new format, the thing that entails is the banning uh of cards right out the gate i thought that um well i thought that they were a little bit light on this they they wanted to keep it open kind of like modern but um we had some bomb some bomb cards like we have the hound that bounces a permanent 
uh that's really good with the the one um four the one three drop commander that uh oh the one esper three drop commander um there's one that's really solid uh let's talk about siege rhino okay siege rhino come on the dude's not man i'm playing siege rhino okay i'm playing that son of a gun all day every day so we have siege rhino and then smothering copter sm smothering copter what the heck is I smothering? Smother. <laughs> oh my God. Smuggler's Copter is, is going to be in every other deck. Like, remember when they had Smothering Copter and it was in every, every deck had that dude. And it was, so they had to immediately, they had to get it out of here. They were like, dude, no, two drop that two drop cruise for one lets you loot in a red deck. <laughs> <laughs> not not just any deck your red deck was running smoothly you got to go get another card deep for a f man smothers copters was so so awesome and i even run it in some edh decks because the draw power is real with smothered copter like you can do some really crazy stuff with that thing it's a, it's a really nice utility card try using it in your edh so I've, i'm very excited about having to re being able to revisit these in a bigger format i wanted to get into modern but modern you know modern has money um you know running around and i don't have that type of money so i would like to revisit theros and i would like to revisit dragon's mage um it's 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 some pretty cool stuff that's going on some deck build is gonna be awesome but um just banning the the lands i think they could have done a little bit more but I know they still want some bombs to be running around. Like, that's kind of what you want. Your format to be having some bombs to still be running around. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm actually on the, I'm actually on the, you know, the the middle of this conversation. I, I like, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't want it to be like, um, I don't want it to be like Frontier. Was that the, that, was that the format? Frontier? Um, I don't want to be I want I don't want it to be like Frontier. Uh Pioneer seems like it could be super decent. Um I'm all for banning the lands. I wish there was more, but I'm all for banning the lands. And maybe maybe prices are going to go down again. I I think Sahili the 3 drop has already started to skyrocket. So I already got a couple of those because Super Friends. But any format I can play Super Friends in in a cheaper rate is actually pretty decent. So let me know how you guys feel. I'll check you guys later, man. This is going to be an interesting format.